Hello YouTube and welcome back to Lifeless Planet. Last time we discovered all the life that is no longer here. Namely the Russian colonists. Freaky as hell, holy shit. The root structures don't look active now though, which is nice. Alright. This is Dr. Vladimir Kadermov of the Soviet Space Agency. I'm recording this message in the hopes that it will someday be retrieved and our mission to this planet will be understood. It was a peaceful mission. We discovered a portal in Siberia 2, uh, 22 years ago, uh, in 1974. This mysterious device instantaneously transported man and machine from Earth across through space to the surface of this planet. The planet was rich with life, strange but also wonderful and beautiful, with an atmosphere favorable to life. It was decided that this world should be claimed for Russia, so the most amazing discovery in the history of mankind was kept a secret. Our leaders wanted to build a new and perfect Soviet society, so very quickly we established a colony of hundreds of people. In the beginning, this planet held so much promise. After a few months, our scientific team discovered that the plant, native plant life was dying out. We had unintentionally introduced a virus that killed off a bacteria-like substance that covered the surface of the planet. This organism was the primary food source of the plants and when it died, life on the planet died with it. Well, most life died. Some organisms remain as they have mutated horribly. They are ravenous for any kind of food. We've lost almost our entire colony to these creatures. Even as I record this message, they are closing in. We have retreated to a high point in the Eastern Gorge. We had hoped to reach the relic power structure, but it is too dangerous. I don't know how long we can hold out. That's grim. Well, I'm guessing that he didn't survive. So 1974 though, so that woman could have been brought here as a very small child and survived the trauma of everyone she knew dying and gone on to live her life alone here. But it, that is possible. Although the uh, plants taking her shape indicate... I don't know what. That's not something that can really develop from an evolution in only... 30 years, 40 years. Well, okay, so this doesn't take place at modern times, so never mind. She would be much older, even if she was born here, say a year or two. Oh, wow, that looks fancy. A year or two after, um. Oh, extended boost mode gone. Damn. So if she was born here. It's possible that she is actually a normal, mostly normal human. What is this thing? This structure doesn't appear man-made. Was this what the Russians were trying to reach? I think so. Past the massacre site, I've encountered the largest structure yet. This does not appear man-made, and was almost certainly constructed by the portal builders. Is this what the Russians were trying to reach? If so, they came tragically close to their goal. I'm going to press on a little farther, and then get some rest until morning. Hmm. Alright, so we won't have to deal with the darkness for too much longer, that's nice. We do have to find somewhere to go, though. Maybe some way up? That would be nice. However, we no longer have our super jetpack. So that's a small obstacle. Hmm. I'm not seeing any way up, though. This is... Frustrating. Hmm. Okay, so the dead roots generally lead approximately in the direction we're supposed to be going, which is straight into a wall. Okay. Yeah, there, there's no way around that. 
Maybe I'm supposed to go down? Not actually go to this? Doesn't seem like much- Oh, that's not the, uh, source of light. Interesting. Let's try going that way, then. I thought it was, and we were just at the wrong angle, then. That's a gorge. This is... Rocks. Okay, okay, so this does look like the way we're supposed to go. Craters. Now, craters like this generally don't occur in atmosphere. So I wonder how they got there, just because, like, they'd be worn away, mostly. And most meteorites would have burnt up before they hit. That's not always the case. I mean, in Arizona, I know there's a huge crater, but generally, clusters like that don't happen. That I'm aware of. Screen's going dark. What's happening? Oh ho! Oh ho ho! The light, it returns. No spotlight anymore. Well, let's try to find it. Because that definitely seemed important. Oh shit. That's not fair. God damn it. No. It hasn't killed us though. Uh oh. Um? The fuck? Okay. She saved me. But for what purpose? We're all thinking that he just said it. Seriously though, like what the hell? So I guess she doesn't want us to go to hell anymore. That's comforting. Let's go in a cave instead. Towards hell, but not to it. A boy in the woods. I do not recognize the changing world around us anymore. It seems darker. Dreary and hatefully responsive to our presence. My son, Kolya, ran to me last week claiming that he saw a boy in the forest who tried to lure him in deeper, then smacked him in the face with a branch. The gash on his face is proof. While this could be a story to hide his embarrassment, Kolya swears to me that the boy looked exactly like him, and I am inclined to believe him. I do not know if these, if we created these monstrosities or merely awoke them, but I do know we are no longer welcome in this place. And it seems they had no way at this point of escaping. So every message I find, I think, is part of the escaping group who's getting smaller and smaller, and that is definitely a hostile root structure. God damn. Oh, that's fucking freaky. And the noise, oh ho. Oh. Shapeshifters. The root creatures appear to be capable of assembling into various forms. They have caught on that I'm following the woman and are taking her shape to lure me into their traps. Or is she controlling them? Communicating in some way I can't understand. I'd never believe any of this if I weren't experiencing it myself, but then my belief is of little value. I still don't understand what's going on. Well, there's another one. Anything off this way? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Oh well. You are not really her. Oh, her footprints go right over it. Let's go around you. This fog is disconcerting. And at this point, I think it's safer to assume that everything is hostile. Except apparently that woman. And these flashy bits of data. Dead forest. This must have been a More confirmation that this planet was once rich with life. 
I've come across what remains of a huge forest. As our scout probes had indicated, this world was once a place of diverse life and stable ecosystems. Oh, scout probes, which must have taken at least 15 years to relay their data back. Though, hmm, that seems to imply... Okay, so, so the recording said 22 years earlier, in 1974, they had found the portal. So at that point, it would have been 1996. And that's when they lost contact, I think. They lost contact. At, in, okay, so I can't go through there. I have to go this way. So, if in 1996 they lost contact, and then it took some time after that for them to... Alright, where's the power structure? Time after that for it to become a desperate situation, it's possible that our probes could have gotten here, even if they weren't sent by, you know, modern times 2014. It's possible they could have gotten there before all the life died. And if that's the case, and they relayed the information back, then it wouldn't have shown that everything was dead. That's interesting. Come on, power structure, I know you're around here somewhere. Mysterious giant dead trees. Hmm. Really not a whole lot going on around here. It's just a dead forest. And a wall of branches. Explorer. Neat. Well, let's go this way. See what we find. Nothing! Oh, alright. Bonus item. Mineral sample. I'm detecting some unusual readings in these samples, but I still believe coal is the proper identification for this mineral. As coal is derived from plant matter back on Earth, I have to conclude these samples were formed from the remains of root-like creatures on this planet. However, there's something odd within this specimen, and I still can't get a precise handle on what kind of life form we're dealing with here. That's probably because, having evolved totally separate from life on Earth, it won't fit into any of the kingdoms of life that we have. It's not going to be animal, it's not going to be plant, insect, fungus or whatever the fifth one is uh, bacteria maybe insects or animals I can't remember but it's not gonna fit into any of those it's totally unique and you should have expected that coming here I don't know why you didn't A bit foolish of you mr. scientist so I don't know where I'm taking this rock I can't go that way, that stuff's hostile. I didn't see any power structures before. Maybe I can just throw it at this. No. Alright, pick it up again. Let's see where we're going. Oh, I can walk in here. Can't make it all the way through though. Damn. I can walk in here. Can't make it all the way through though. Ah, oh, I'm so close. Stupid bulky spacesuit. It's an interesting point though that like spaces you even could physically squeeze through. In a spacesuit, you probably don't want to. Any damage to it? I mean, first of all, it's gonna cost a hell of a lot of money to fix, just because it's a fucking spacesuit. But any damage to it could be potentially lethal in uh, in a, a, a vacuum or lethal atmosphere. So, like an actual astronaut, it would be very important to be careful about touching pretty much anything if he didn't have to. And while that woman does suggest that we can survive 
The oxygen shortages and blackouts that are associated with them do seem to say otherwise. Okay, I have no clue what I'm supposed to do with this rock. And it's foggy, I can't see a thing. It's not really helping. Green footprints. Hmm. I could just try to walk through there. I expect that I'm gonna die if I do, but I could try it. And I'm coming up on the end of the episode, so... What better way to finish off than a gruesome death, right? I'm sure you agree. I know I do, but I'm me, so that doesn't really count. Maybe we can just jump over it. I'm gonna... Yep, no. Yeah, that didn't work. Shit. It's pretty cool, though. I'm just gone. Well, if that's not the answer, then I don't know what is. So I'm gonna finish off here. And I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully we can solve the puzzle then.